So you can watch the replay if you'd like. Hi. All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today in this special time and place to explore our amazing Western Herbalism program at Southwest Institute of Healing Arts, AKA Sweeha, it's a mouthful. Um, so my name is Becca. I am a success coach here at Sweeha, here to support our students and graduates in turning their practice into profitable purpose, whatever that looks like for you. And I would love for those on the webinar today to tell us your why, what brings you here to explore Western herbalism with us. If you're re-watching this or on any social platforms, type in your why to share with us as you manifest all the cool things that are coming. Knowing that this program literally starts very soon, literally very soon, two days before fall starts, and it's the once a year start, right, Cambria? Two days before fall starts would be the deadline. The program is starting, but in October. So yes, it's definitely oh, thank you. in by the 20th, if possible. It has to be. <laughs> okay, perfect. So no pressure, but lots of pressure. Okay, yes. <laughs> so... um. I love supporting our students and graduates, so bring all the questions today, and I would love to introduce, before we kick it off, Cambria, tell us about yourself, who you are, how you found Sweeha, and um, anything at all. Yes, yeah, so my name is Cambria Dickerson. I am the admissions coach for the Western Herbalism Program. Um, I found Sweeha just by chance. Honestly, I was talking to someone about my interest in herbalism. This was back when I was living in Alabama and it just came up in conversation. They were like, oh, you should go to this school. And I'm like, well, I'll probably never be in Arizona, but okay. Fast forward to 2021, COVID is happening. I was in LA at the time living there temporarily and I heard about the program again and it was like, oh, is right next door. This made my opportunity to go ahead and live in my purpose and find the way to Arizona to start the program. So I literally relocated from LA specifically for the herbalism program so that I can walk more in my purpose of being an herbalist. Yes. Awesome. I have met and talked to a lot of herbies in my time at Sweeha who've actually relocated and it's been amazing journeys for them. So I'm sure it was for you. And yes. we'll hear more about your experience as um, a student going through the program, what you're going to do with this education. So same applies for everyone with us. Think about what you want to do with this program, like what the end result looks and feels like for you. Um, I'm just going to share real quick. It looks like Allison says, I have found personal benefits and wants to help others with herbs too. I love that. Thank you. And then Hannah says, I'm in, I am in health and wellness coaching program and I'm expanding my horizon on nutrition. So very cool. Thank you for sharing. This is everything we want to hear. So um, let's go ahead and kick it off again. As we flow through, just raise your hand and I'll pass the mic um, so we can just share this time and space together. So make sure you can see my screen okay. Does it look good to you, Cambria? Looks great. All right. All right. So we call this Western Herbalism our program and that Sweeha actually um, is co-branded this education with our amazing leader, Joanne Sanchez, who has her developed this beautiful program and teaches it so passionately. We love her. We love the program. So the offering is here, which does, like we said, starts October 2nd, literally just around the corner. You have to enroll, submit your application by September 20th. We'll remind you that a few times on here. Do Cambria, why do we call it Western herbalism? Do you know like what is the why it's Western herbalism in general? Um, because once before when there was Western um, I guess medicine back in the day, they used to align herbalism with the field and it was taught that it was supplemental to add herbs to all care. So just years, years, years ago, it was intertwined. Now it's a little more separate. Now pharma is pushed a little more than the herb. So that's why it's terminology called Western herbalism. 
Beautiful. Did everybody know that coming here? I was going to tee up some poll questions, but I'm like, that might take too much time. Um, so let's just get right into it. You know, what's your why? A couple of you have already shared. Does anyone want to unmute and share why they're interested in a program here? And remember, you can raise your hand and just share like what you're passionate about and what your thought is of doing with this. Yay, Bethany, I am passing the mic if you want to unmute. Can you unmute yourself there? Do, 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 do. Okay, can you hear me? There Sorry. we go. Can you hear me now? I was having issues. Um, so okay. actually, I'm really interested in doing this program because um, my grandmother is Mexican indigenous and... Um, she used a lot of herbs to help um, people with heal their ailments rather than just treating symptoms. Um, so it's something I would like to expand on the little knowledge that I do have. Mm. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. That's huge. Awesome. Okay. Anyone else want to share? You can just raise your hand as we move along. What um, brought you to this field? Cambria like what, um, what was your passion just wanted to find a more holistic way to heal um I realized that it's more than just the physical and how it shows up in your body you have to address both the spiritual the mental the emotional effects and I feel that herbs do that and they cover more of the energetics not just the um I feel like it basically like Bethany was saying kind of like addresses the issue more mm -hmm. directly and not just the symptoms of the issue because symptoms can show up in different ways but if you're able to hit that root cause a lot easier or a lot more efficiently you're able to basically cure the body instead of just treating the body yes and that's what we're all about here is the mind body spirit connection it's the whole person right i like the word um when people don't know what holistic means with an h it's just like well just slap a w on front and it's that whole self right that no part of self is left behind in our healing journey amen okay so let's march forward and talk about the different types of programs here at Sweethawk. Cambria I'm going to let you lead with this because we have the full diploma and we also have the small certificate of excellence so let's talk about both Yes, so the Western Herbalism Diploma, that is a 745-hour course. The program is 14 months full-time, and this is if you wanted to build a career around being an herbalist. So if you wanted to have practical clinical herbalism, if you wanted to offer any services of one-on-one, -on -one, or if you just wanted to offer products, this is what is best for you. This is aligned with entrepreneurship, so it is vocational, which means that we would expect you to start your business or be able to work in the field after graduation. Um, so you will definitely have some hands-on herbalism work. You'll have the opportunity to do an externship or an internship, and you'll also have business development classes built into your program. So it's not only that we're going to make you do the work, we're going to prepare you for being an herbalist in the field. So you'll have those classes that will get you ready for your business plan, help you align with any business filing, as well as just your presentation, creating business cards, as well as social media development. Um, if you wanted to work within the clinical field, you do have the opportunity to do the supervised clinical intake. So here on campus, you will meet with volunteers and you'll be able to work with them and their specific health goals and create herbal protocols. So you have the opportunity to learn about contraindications, what may work against any medicines that they may already be on or counteract, and just learn how to help the person with any type of healing that they may need with teas, tinctures, or even like valve salts. We learn about even topical treatments such as salves and creams. You will also have the opportunity to learn about retail experience. So um, in herbalism, you have to learn about certain verbiage you cannot use with your products. So this retail experience class will teach you about that. Um, the research thesis is just about being able to learn how to do your own research about the herbs that you want to provide to your clients so that you have the backing behind why they work the way they do. So this program mm -hmm. starts on October 2nd, of course, the same date with the certificate program. Um, I think that's about an, the gist about that program. But if you just wanted to learn for your own personal development, say you wanted to have your own apothecary in your home, wanted to assist your family, your friends, and your small community with herbs, 
the 100 hour course certificate would be a nice supplemental value for you. This is if you're already practicing in a certain field. So estheticians sometimes take this class if they wanted to offer some topical creams or salves or even oils for their patients or clients. Um, so with the 100 hour course, it is shorter. It is only 10 months. It is the same start date of October 2nd, but you will have the introductory herbalism classes as well as how to create your products. So you'll have your herbs for babies and children where you learn how to treat children. You'll have a women's health class as well as a men's health class. And then you'll learn about desert medicines, which are specific to our climate, which I think was so expensive. Learning about what's in the desert and what's mm -hmm. already available to you, it is a game changer because you may not realize that there's medicine right out your back door. So what field uh, trip do y'all take again? Cambria, yeah, we took go? a lot of field trips. So with the large trip, program, we do more, but you still will get the opportunity to go to like desert, uh, not desert sage, the desert botanical gardens. So that is where you learn firsthand about the herbs that are available or even the plants. You learn about the foods, even some cacti have some food content to them as well as mm -hmm. water. So you'll learn about that throughout the program with those hands-on field trips. Um, other field trips that are within the larger program are usually to the Sonora University of Health Sciences. That is where you will learn about how to garden. So Joanne has a, about, a, I think, 4,000 square feet garden of about 100 different medicinal herbs that you'll learn how to nourish from plant all the way up to harvest, which is really cool. You get the opportunity to even process them before they're used for medicine making. So that mm -hmm. was really enjoyable for me as a person because I'm an earth science. So anytime I'm getting my hands dirty in soil, I reconnect to nature. So it's a lot of ancestral healing, a lot of um, awakening that happens when you're working with these earths because you learn that they've always been here since the beginning of time. So I love that. Mm -hmm. I, I can relate as the <laughs> earth sign, fellow Virgo of you Virgos in there. Um, just let us know if this resonates with any of you, like if anything comes up, what's coming up for you too. Or if you have Sorry. any questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you want to add on to that, Cambria? Are you good? That's, I think that's enough. Okay. Um, where did you do your externship? Oh, I did it with the healing journey. So I did it with Julie. Okay. Beautiful. So um, Cambria not only supports our uh, future graduates, our future Herbies who are enrolling in the program, she also went through the whole program herself. As you heard, she came all the way out here. Um, so what was your experience like as a student, Cambria? Did you enroll right away in the diploma or did you start with the 100 and go up? No. I got the bang for my book. I knew what I wanted when I got here. I did the 745 diploma program right off just because I had the calling to, and I knew that this is what I wanted. And if I wanted to do it, I would fully invest myself. Um, I think that what caught me is the hands-on learning. I wanted to be in a place where I can learn and be in the environment with the plants. To me, an online course would not have sufficed. So to be on campus was definitely life-changing for me because I got to connect with the plants one-on-one -on -one and also feel the energy of them. So um, I love that Joanne was such an amazing instructor where she basically guided us through the program with her amazing library of knowledge. And I think that that was one of the, the biggest things, just wanted to be here and feel the environment, but also was to gain community. Um, I wanted to be around people of like mind, like energy and a, uh, more of a spiritual, higher vibration type of um, community. So I really was able to gain that with my classmates. We went through a lot of spiritual awakening throughout the program, which some of you will as well, as you reconnect to yourself and your power of healing, because you have that power within, it just has to be reawakened. I feel like a lot of that has been taken from us um, just by the pharmaceutical field, being able to only trust in the doctors. But now with myself, I am able to trust that I can treat and heal myself and lead others to that same healing because it's not that I can heal you. I can give you the tools for you to believe that you can heal yourself. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, and we look at this as more of complementary. We used to call like all of this, like alternative medicine. It doesn't have to be alternative. We're not like one way or the other. It can be integrated into a doctor's recommended practice. Um, it's we're not all or nothing. So I just want to make that clear. It can be complementary of that and or you can take it your own route. So there's a good question being asked, yes. which is also leaning into that same answer that I just gave. 
Um, someone's asking, what is the spiritual aspect of herbal herbalism? I hear some terms being tossed around. First of all, I want to know what terms you're referring to. Um, and thank you for asking this. I, I want to say just personally, and we'll get to meet Joanne in a minute. We'll just not personally, but we'll go over who she is. I call her a garden fairy, right? <laughs> um, we don't come at this education as like quote unquote spiritual this is going to be what it is for you it's actually extremely scientific yeah. you have to memorize the scientific names of plants and cambria why do we have to learn why do you have to learn the latin names of plants because you know why? Latin, yeah latin is a dead language so when you're wanting to identify herbs or recommend herbs you want to make sure that it's the correct herb when you're talking to somebody about it so because it's nettles it doesn't mean it's the correct nettles like there's something called purple nettle that you may not be aware of so if you're like hey take your nettles it could be two different things but if you say hey take erica diosha we know that that is this thing in nettle so it just helps with identification of the plants and make sure it's very specific to what that um, herb is without having that um, confusion usually yeah, because there's just so many various species and types that it keeps it very segmented and scientific so you know exactly which plant you're referring to. Yes, so I do agree. Yes, terms like spiritual and physical are totally different. And that's why we're talking about the holistic education of the, the program because herbs, plants, any sort of elements works with us on all levels for health and wellness. So we're talking about physical, energetic, mind, like it's it's all included and covered and benefits. So I guess I'll ask the question to the ask is what is what do you want to get out of this education? What are you seeking? So yes. Beautiful. Okay. Can you define spiritual in the correlation of the program itself? Do you want to speak from your experience since I have not taken the program, Cambria? Um, Did it get spiritual in nature? I mean, the yeah, education I mean, itself? It can be. The education itself is very scientific. You will have the research back yeah. behind it. You will have the information about pathology. So you'll know about the different body systems and how it applies to the healing. Um, when I say spiritual, I think it's just about the connection to the plant in nature, just knowing that this is something that is given to us and we have to pay reverence to it in a way. So it's like, you're not taking more than you need. You're being sacred with your practice. You're not um, just taking and not giving back basically. So that's what I would say. The spiritual aspect is just knowing that these plants are alive and well, they're not dead. So when you are harvesting or connecting with them, it's important just to, I would say to understand that these are things that are causing change within our body. So just yes. you know, to tap into the sacredness of the herb is, is an aspect of the program. So you will have that part, but it is going to be scientific. So you learn about the energetics, which is like hot and cold, warm or dry, things like that. I love that. Makes sense. And I think the word spiritual in terms of the program means that we don't just use plants without intention. It's we're respecting the energetic life force of each herb and what it's used for. So good question. That's that's good stuff right there. So let's ask anyone at all who has questions about the program. As Cambria mentioned, if you're looking at doing this for personal development to start, definitely the 100 hour certificate is the way to go. Let's say you start small and then want to go big. Um, you you do have to interview for that with Joanne. Is that correct, Cambria? Yes. So if you start with the 100-hour program, you still can apply to the 745-hour, but it will have to come the following year, and you'll have to complete an application packet where you will have to do an interview with Joanne. Okay, beautiful. And we differentiate the two because if you're going to use financial aid, for the purposes of making this a profitable career for you in herbalism, um, you can see if you qualify for financial aid. I'll, I'll go over the website at the end to show you where to do that if you're interested. Um, but technically, anything at, 
anything over a 600 hour diploma at SWIHA, um, you can see if you qualify and use that if you have, you know, grants or loans, if you qualify. So yeah, that's exactly. the differentiator there too. And there of is course, time, right? The time commitment. Let's talk about the time required for class and schedule. That's exactly what I was about to say. So for the 745 okay. hour diploma program, you usually can expect to be here at least three days a week and it's in the evening times. So it can range from 5.30 to 8.30 for your resident herbalism classes. For any supplemental classes, those will mostly meet from about 6 to 10 p.m. For the 100-hour course, you'll only meet one day a week. That'll be Wednesdays from 5.30 to 8.30. Awesome. Any questions there? And how many hours of study did you have? Just um, About so like 15 hours, we say, would have to be set aside for class readings and any homework assignments. Awesome. Okay. Bethany's asking, when is the next enrollment date? She's moving here in November, won't be there in time to register for this class. So the next start date, it wouldn't start until next year. And that'll be October of 2025. We only have one start date per year. Yeah. And, it, and that's intentional because of fall and how things grow, right? Like the timing of it is important yes. for I don't know the scientific term, gestation of plants. I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I threw a blank. But yeah, it definitely goes by the um, the planting season, I guess you would say. Planting season. Okay, there we go. I learned from one of them. Um, <laughs> whose post was it? Oh, man. That if you plant pumpkins, what day was it? Like it was in the spring that you'll have pumpkins ready by um, Halloween or something like that. I was like that like what a cool thing to know it's those little things those little things you remember um I think it was Joel who posted that yeah he's the farmer uh, he's the one yeah yeah yes. so you will learn about farming and how to garden <laughs> with the department. yes urban farming is super cool which we offer um so Bethany said what makes your program stand out compared to other herbalism programs um well, I would say the Western Herbalism Diploma Program, it is accredited, so that is something that can make us stand out, but we don't want to be salesy and say, hey, come here, regardless of any other programs, but I just would like to add that it's like I talked about being on campus. I just really enjoyed that type of hands-on learning, so I would say that's also another point that makes it stand out towards other programs. Yeah, and I personally don't know much about other programs, but um, we talk about like herbal remedy procedures, guides for plant expiration hikes, people can become teachers of herbal agriculture, chefs, mm -hmm. herbal consultants to private clients, like there's so much you can do with it. Um, but you learn to write herbal, like herbal research literature speak publicly about the benefits, create herbal products for retail, provide one-on-one -on -one coaching to people. What I feel that we do a very good job of as a college in general is teaching you how to apply it in the real world as a, a solopreneur, whether you're working by yourself, entrepreneur, maybe your partner with someone else in another medical field. So it's really dependent upon what your um, definition of success is. I feel like we do a very good job of getting you um, kind of plugged into what that looks like and then helping you integrate that in the real world. It's not like here, we're going to teach you about plants and good luck doing that <laughs> out in the world. It's we, you know, we help you develop your brand um, and your identity as an herbalist. So I think we do a very good job in that aspect. And we support our graduates lifelong with like business and marketing support. We have weekly workshops and closed groups where you can get um group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching. So it doesn't end when your program ends, like we're always here. So I feel like that's how we take it further. Um. And yes, Allison, there's a lot of scientific studies that you will have to do and study for. Um, like I said, you have to memorize like 
plant species names in Latin. And that's very important. So for anybody who's not starting right away or is starting right away, jump on that now. <laughs> right, Cambria? Yeah, you have at least 150 different plants in Latin binomials. But we also look into scientific studies in our pathology class. So you'll learn about herbs that are specific for the nervous system, the digestive system, the immune system. And you'll also learn about the ailments or illnesses that are experienced if there is an imbalance within those. So there is scientific research that you will do um, in that pathology course. Yeah, that's good. And I love that specifically because that's really, and that, that leads to marketing. It's how you sell products. It's how you find your clientele that you can specialize in a certain digestive part of the body, right? Maybe you've had your own experiences or have supported people with certain ailments and you're very well-versed in how this works. So yeah. I love that it's segmented in that way. I do wanna add that you learn about the constituents within the plants that create the change that they do within the body. So you will learn about like how antioxidants help with free radicals within the body. You'll learn about anthoquinones that are laxatives. So you learn about the different um, scientific names of the components of the plant that cause the change or the reaction they do. Mm, yeah, I love that. I like body um, too. Yeah, Bobby said, does the school do anything with alumni that new students can meet? I would say yes. I've met some students or um, potential students when I've done the Gifts and Graces. Every first Friday, we have a Gifts and Graces event here on campus where our great graduates can bend. So usually I'm set up every first Friday and it really has helped with a pipeline, not only for people that are interested in the herbalism program, but for people that are interested in supporting my business. So you will have the opportunity to kind of um, show your products or your um, services off to the public. And then um, we do also offer the opportunity for our students to get their products in our bookstore here on campus, if that's something that you'd like to do. Love that. Yeah, we had an open house last night. Was it last night? It was Monday. Sorry, it was Monday. Um, and you got to meet obviously interested in students, but a lot of the um, like practitioners or the teachers who support Joanne, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was me and Bethany. She was the teaching assistant. Oh, Bethany. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Usually I have met students that I've actually, I'm about to roll somebody that I met at the Gibson Graces and she was just a potential student interested in the program. She oh. saw me and I set up at first Friday. We talked and I was like, Hey, I'm actually the admissions coach. You know, if you want to get enrolled or if you want to start this education and that's how it started. So you will have I love that. prospect students. And I think that was the perfect answer, Cambria. Um, go to a Gifts and Graces. They're the first Friday of every month. And then right after, so they're from six, they go till about what, seven? About nine. And then after, yeah. yeah. And then after that, all of the vendors are set up all over the halls, Herbies, readers, I mean, you name it. And then you can kind of see what they're doing and, and how they're doing it and ask them the questions, you know? Um, yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Good. Uh, Bethany's asking, when does the 100 hour certificate start? They both start on the same day. So that'll be October 2nd. Yes. Um, perfect. Very good. Let's keep the questions coming as we just move on. I'm going to just showcase the Joanne Sanchez. She is amazing. I, in my experience, knowing her, I'm not an herbalist myself, but when I talk to her, I get excited about plants. <laughs> like she actually, I can feel her passion and just, it makes me want to learn herbalism. Um, so Joanne Sanchez is our herbalism program director. Like I said, she brought Botanica into us. So it's like co-branded, it's her baby. And she is, she holds herself with, with such grace and wisdom. It's so fascinating. She's a highly intelligent woman. Um, she has her bachelor's of science in natural resource development and graduate study in botany. She's been self-employed since the late eighties. So that says a lot about who she is. She has her own practice on the sides. 
She maintains clinical practice, custom compounding services, and mentoring for new practitioners and herbal educators. If you love herbs as much as she does, she will absolutely love you. Um, caretaker, as you said, Cambria, she has a lot of land, three medicine plant gardens. Um, she's written a lot of textbook manuals. She is a professor, not just at Sweeha, but SCNM as well. And she's recognized as a professional member of the American Herbalist Guild, which we will talk about here, um, unless you have questions about Joanne. And like we said, part of interviewing and being accepted into the program is part of the application. Um, so she does like to meet all of her future herbies. Um, so that's important. Would you agree, Cambria? Yes, yes, yes. She's very definitely, she's, um, wants to love on you. <laughs> she wants to meet you and get your why so she can kind of align you with your path and just assist you throughout that journey. So she's very, yeah. Nice. And, and she holds her, this program with such high integrity and she wants to make sure that you are going to respect and honor the education as much as she does. Um, and I, and I, really I value that about her very much so I'm glad she is like that so let's talk about what to expect so if you're thinking about enrolling in this program or definite that you are let's get clear on the expectations because expectations set us up for success so as you heard and the questions have been asked that this program does enhance your connection with nature and plants on intuitive, spiritual, energetic interpretation, as well as from the, I always get this word pronounced wrong, phytochemical science focus view. Uh -huh. Photo? Phyto. Phyto. Okay. Thank you. What does phytochemical science focus view really mean? Basically, what I was speaking about earlier about knowing how the constituents within the plants make the change within the body or what type of actions that they may cause. Like there are laxative herbs, there are herbs that are um, refrigerant herbs that are cooling to the body. So with the refrigerant herbs, that means that they expand your pores, they allow more air or circulation to come through, which in chance turns the body more cool. So you learn about that from a scientific view. Love that. Perfect. Thank you. And then um, studying all of this gives you remedies that you'll make. You guys make what, like tonics, tinctures, teas, all the goodies that she'll actually share with the sweetheart community when there's stuff made. That's cool. Um, but you also study theories supporting the curative formulations. What was that like for you, Cambria? That's basically the research part of it. So you have to understand how to support any formulation that you create. So it's just about having the backing, knowing how to look up reputable, incredible sources that will tell you about the herbs and how they work. So just learning how to have that theoretical approach and knowing that they actually do work and having the proof. Mm -hmm. And to answer, I think it was Bethany's question too on what sets us apart. I, I don't know how much research you've done about Western herbalism programs in the U.S., but I think ours is known as one of like the most comprehensive focused on native flora and sustainable wild, you know, crafting practices. Um, and the fact that we are a member of the American Herbalist Guild also um, just, I think, speaks volumes to the respect, again, the integrity of the program. Um, and this is an association of herbal practitioners that upholds clinical herbalism as a viable profession, right? So it's ethical, there's competency, it's diverse, and there's a freedom of practice. Um, so that says a lot. Oh, thank you, Cambria. Uh, Bobby was asking, are books available for herbalism class? Yes, we have books available here at our Healing Pages bookstore. How many books are in the program? Or do you know? Uh, it depends on which program you're enrolling to. Um, 
five of those herbal books, like the manuals that we talked about that Joanne has written, those are only included in the diploma program. So you'll have those five textbooks that are only purchased through the bookstore. But then you also have like the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. Um, there's a Herbal Sciences books that you may have to buy. I think it's recommended. But there's a full list that is in the bookstore that you can either come on campus to see or if you need that directly for your program, I can assist you with that just so you'll have the book list. Beautiful. Thank you. And I wanted to share this um, too. I'll just pull this on the screen real quick over our slides. Um, this is the website for the American Herbalist Guild. So if you just wanted to um, explore, just kind of check out some of the resources um, and, and see what that's like, I would I would recommend doing that. I can put this link in the chat for everybody here. Anything you wanted to add about um, the... I would, I would say that our curriculum does align, but you still have to do clinical hours in order to become a registered herbalist. But I do believe it's the backing or credibility that is important or that can be used if you wanted to go that route to act as a clinical herbalist. So you have to Yeah, just, and they... Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, that just has to do with you doing your one-on-one -on -one consultations and having the... Um, research and backing behind yourself, knowing that the herbal protocols you have created for your clients have worked. Yeah, they have so many resources mm -hmm. on their website. They have like free monthly webinars. They have a study hall. Um, it's like, there's so much, there's journals, fundamentals, like frequently asked questions. So either if you're waiting for the education to start or you just want to get a little more insight on it, um, definitely check that out. I'll put that in here too. And then Sweeha Support, I'll let you talk about what we offer here. Cambria. So the four hour guest pass, it is complimentary. And that is for any student that wants to come and observe any of our Western herbalism classes. So you have the opportunity to get a feel of the campus and the energy or the environment here. So you'll know if this is a good environment for your learning process. So if you wanted to do that, you can either connect with me or with the front desk when you came on campus. And I also do offer tours. So I am the admissions coach. So if you wanted to set up a time to schedule with me to come in on campus, I can assist you with that as well. For the okay. application packet for the diploma program, it is a couple steps that you'll have to complete in order to be enrolled or to be um, considered. <laughs> So you'll have to complete your application form, which is one page. It'll just ask about your personal information. You'll also need to submit a resume. And it doesn't necessarily have to be geared towards health and wellness or anything within the um, field of medicine or anything of that nature. It's just showing us what tools and skills you'll be bringing into the program with you that can maybe supplement what you are wanting to walk towards with your new journey. We also ask that you submit a copy of your high school diploma or GED, an intention essay, which is can be up to one to two pages for the five questions that are included on the application form. Just ask me about your interests, your why, and what you see yourself doing once you complete. And then you have to observe two classes. That's one Western herbalism class here on campus and one business development class. Now with the application deadline so swiftly approaching, we do only have one business development class that you can observe before the cutoff date of the program, which will be next Monday on the 16th. And there are some other classes that you can observe for the Western herbalism portion. They're gonna be on Thursday. So that'll be from, I believe 5.30 to 8.30, but I can send that information to you with the application packet once you're able to connect with me. Both programs, I mean, I'm sorry, both program, only one program does qualify for financial aid, which would be the diploma program. And it would depend on your income as well as maybe your tax return from last or previous years. But that is something that you can discuss more deeply with the financial aid advisor. But if you are interested in FAFSA, I would suggest you do your financial applicate, I mean your financial aid application as soon as you can so that we can get that process because it typically takes at least three to five business days. Now this is only for the diploma program. For the 100 hour course, we do offer zero interest payment plans and that can be done over the 10 month program. So it'll be safe. And I'm showcasing right here the um, financial aid webpage. So when you go to our website, if you um, hover over admissions and student services drop down financial assistance, 
the important part is scrolling down about halfway. There's a link to the FAFSA website or here. And our school code is 035933. This is important. You can put in as many schools as you want. It doesn't matter. Um, it just gives our financial aid a specialist uh, allowance to go look into your FAFSA results with you. So if you're thinking about doing this, time is of the essence because enrollment closes literally in days and minutes. So um, do that, but then reach out to talk to Cambria right away because you'll get a, a notification saying that it will notify us. We don't get notified. So be, um, I would say, take the initiative and proactive to um, do that so that it doesn't slow the process down because it, it does. It takes about 24 hours at least can take up to 72 hours to do that. So thank you for letting me share. I do also want to add that we do accept VA or special funding for VA or special funding for like native tribal funding. If you have that available to you, we do also offer VA benefits. Our special and here's all the programs that it does cover. Yes. Very good. And so we have a question from Allison. Do you offer interest free for the diploma loans? So that would be a question that you'll have to ask for the financial aid advisor. I wouldn't have that information about what the interest rate would be on any financial aid application or any um, loans that you may get from them. But once you do the application, the financial aid advisor will be able to pull what could be applied for your tuition. And if there's any APR, or any um, of that loan information that would be with your financial aid advisor and they can discuss that with you. Yes, good question. Did we answer all of the questions? Okay. Um, and if you're paying for the diploma, like if you're paying cash, yes, it is an interest free. Like if you're putting together a payment program, just like the 100 hour, it yes. is interest free. We, we do that. And I think that's very gracious of um, Casey Miller, the founder and owner of the college who is now dedicating her practice to teaching yoga. Good for her. She started <laughs> as a massage therapist um, and she just loves teaching yoga here. And it's cool because even as herbal, an herby and herbalist, um, we have, so our main campus is Suiha right here in Tempe. Right next door, we have our sister branch, Southwest Institute of Natural Aesthetics. So you can go get facials and treatments and all the things, a laser. Um, and then next door to that, we have Spirit of Yoga. So even as students, you get benefits to go um, stay healthy in all the ways. <laughs> well, stay well, right? Yes. Um, but just to remind you that if you are ready and dedicated to um, sitting in the seat of the student again, that the program starts August 2nd. Okay. enrollment closes by September 20th. So I would encourage you to immediately call Cambria if you haven't connected with her yet or email her, text her. Cambria, do you have a text line you can put in the chat or let me do a Q&A? Okay, that, that way I think people can get a hold and in touch with you quickly. Um, to get this going because the application we take very seriously um, and it's not short, right? We want you to really um, take your time and ground into your intention, um, understanding the expectations of the program um, to really make this a successful journey for you. Uh, we want to make sure it's the right time and the right program for you. And again, if, if you don't know, you know, you could always start with one class and work your way up. Everything that is in full programs, you can kind of break it up yourself um, and it keep rolling it up and into the larger program. So that is helpful. Um, okay, cool. So let you me see put that? this to all. I can, but let me share it with everyone. Um, everyone, let me know that you can see that in the chat. That's Cambria's text line where you can get a hold of her right away and have the conversation to get your application going or just book a tour, you know. Um, and then um, the next gifts and graces, if you want to come meet some other fellow Herbies, is October 4th. And I believe 
Carmen, is that with um, Linda Bennett? Did I see that? Yes, Linda Bennett. Yes, yes, Linda. And she's, <laughs> um, let me show you where to find that on the website. So if you go to the website and, and you hover over clinics and events, you can go to event and webinar calendar. It's there. There's so many goodies here, everybody. We have a massage clinic that's literally steps from your door um, where all of our practitioners get their hours. Um, it's a real clinic setting and discounted rates for students with the grad. It's amazing. Um, specialty clinics, you guys can dabble and test other types of modalities, mm. which is pretty cool. And then we have the Firewalk Conference coming up to in January, which is going to be cool if you're here for the program. So, so many goodies to check out. So many goodies. How many spots are in the diploma program? We have up to 20 or 30, I believe. So we have open availability. Okay. So if everyone's going to hurry and run in at the same time, time is of the essence. Give us a call so you can get started. And I like that we don't take too many students because we want to make sure everyone gets the proper time and attention to um, get this education. It's beautiful. Any other questions? Last call. Any any words of wisdom you would like to give your fellow herbalists here, Cambria? Answer the calling. <laughs> mm. Follow your heart. I don't know. This is literally what got me here. Just listen to my spirit guides or just my higher self. Knowing that I wanted this education and I don't want to be too spiritual or woo woo, but I just knew that there was something more for me and I wanted to be able to learn and have those foundational knowledge. So just answer the calling is what I would say. Beautiful. Thank you. And um, yeah, so go ahead and connect with Cambria. Um, share your passion, your purpose, and then she can help you formulate that path to success, whether you start with the 100 hour, the diploma this year, or possibly next year. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing this time with me and your gifts and your knowledge. I'm so glad that you get to connect with those who are doing the same. So, yeah. all right. Thanks everybody for coming. Hopefully we'll see you in class. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.